Hello, my name is Sandy, and I have a Solaris 3 that is really a vision. And I am on a journey to learn as much as I can about this machine. There is so much. And today's video is part two uh, from another video I did yesterday with this embroidery design. Yesterday's video was getting this design embroidered out. It's a hummingbird. Hopefully you can see that. And it's got like fruit. And this is all part of an embroidery club design that I got in my last meeting last month at the Sewing Source in Lake Villa. And so um, my goal today is since I have done the design and then I decided to cut away all the stabilizer and the fabric that I had in the hoop. What I want to do, since I have black fabric behind this, um, I've got it just kind of uh, 505 glue under this. Uh, I want to get it more secured, so that's what today's video is about. I've already got black fabric um, with a blanket stitch attached to the red fabric, so I just need to attach this. And then underneath, I have no-show mesh to support it and... I probably didn't need that, but I also put another uh, piece of tearaway underneath it because I want this um, satin stitch on the outside to be very stable and beautiful and dense and a little much wider than this one. I'm hoping this turns out the way I envision it, but like, like I said in the last video, this is all trial and error and it will end up being a pillow. Hopefully you um, like what you're hearing, and if you do, subscribe, like, and make a comment and let me know. So I'm going to get started, and forgive me if I make some mistakes, because this is the first time I've done this type of uh, design. It's not really a design, it's just getting this, um, it's like a big patch almost, uh, tacked down so that I can embroider around it. So I'm going to go into this home and go to IQ designer and the first thing I'm going to do is scan this picture of the embroidery design so I pressed image scan and then scan it gives a little frame warning that it's going to move while it scans the built-in with the built-in camera so I press ok and it does the scanning It um, really turned out beautifully. Like I was saying in yesterday's video, it kind of reminds me of a watercolor embroidery design. Organza. I think that's the name of the fabric I was trying to think of. It was backed when I first did the embroidery design. It was backed with no show mesh because I wanted it to be a little brighter than um, just being sewn on organza, which is that really pretty sparkly material I'll show you what's this stuff I, I used that to sew on my wedding dress yesterday I couldn't think of the name but I think this is organza it's very beautiful um, so over here you can see that it's now in the on the screen and it's light, and I want it to be a little bit darker. Sometimes this thing doesn't always... Just dark enough so I can see the edges of the black satin stitch that I just scanned on the outside. So that looks good to me. Now I'm going to pick this Shapes button. Because I think what I need to do is just pick the square, say OK, and then, uh, let's see here the size this button here will make it enlarge both at width and length at the same time so i'm just going to keep pressing this you can see the pink box getting bigger and i'm going to make it as big as the outside of this design and i'm going to move it over and get it lined up 
with the design. It's got to be like right along the edge. Maybe a little bigger. Uh, maybe over. Yeah, so it's down this side, down that side, and a little bit bigger. And then I can move it over. So it looks like it's good. So now I think I just need to go to the next one and rotate it. See this little corner here looks like it's, it just looks like it needs a little rotating. There. I think that looks just right. Hopefully this looks good. Now, this has drawn a box around my picture. And I don't, right now, this part here is telling me it's a zigzag. And I don't want it to do the zigzag. I want it to just like tack it down. So if I press this button, I believe it will do a straight stitch. And I'm going to push that to let me know. I don't know if I really needed to do that, but uh, that's what I do. So now you see straight stitch next. And I think I could. Hmm. I need to put that straight stitch here. I'm not sure why it didn't take. So here I can see the outline was a straight stitch. And I think this is like the density. I think I'm going to change that to be bigger. Okay. Now I could, I think, keep layering. Uh, I'm going to go down. See? If I go down and show the screen, you can see what I've done on the outside. I'm hoping that this first move that I'm doing will get me the tack down stitch. And I know that you can do more than one. I, I think I can keep like putting this in memory and then go back and do another one and change it to a zigzag and make it wider so that it will be a zigzag in the square all the way around. And then do another one that would do the third stitch. But since I'm new to this, I'm going to just set this to see how it stitches out. Okay. One color. And I will go right to embroidery. Now I'm going to test this out. This will tell me. I can go on the screen. Press this, these buttons and go to each one of these positions on the embroidery hoop. Or I can press this button and it will just check every location automatically. So I'm going to press those buttons just to make sure I'm lined up right. Okay, that looks lined up. Okay, I think it's going to do it. And I already have black thread loaded. So I, I am going to see what happens. Actually, no. Yeah, I need to load it again. I'm almost out of black thread. That All of this black um, outlining that it did last night took a lot of thread. Like I said, uh, if you watched the other video, it would, it took like an hour to do all the outlining. And I just used the IQ monitoring app. Oh, okay, so I'm crossing my fingers. It looks like it's good to me. And I'm going to change the machine speed to be very low. Since this is my first time and see what happens. I'm going to try and hold it down.
Oh, this one I was a little bit inside, but that's okay because it's covering up that area that the design did not stitch out very well. So I'm kind of glad. Hopefully when I do the satin stitch. Now this one's hitting just right, right in the middle of the satin stitch. That's right here. Well, when I get more advanced, I will be able to put more than one of these lines together. I can like set it up so that it's three different steps of stitching all in one step. Like I said, I'm new at this, so. I think it's gonna go around twice. Well, that's nice. If you can see. This one caught around, so I should have rotated it a little bit more. But I think it, it'll be good enough to hold it down so that it can do a really good satin stitch. Maybe I don't need to do a really, like a second, uh, what is it called? It's just a zigzag stitch to hold it in once it's tacked down before it does the embroidery. So we'll see. I'm glad I really slowed it down. Sorry if you're shaking camera. So that took two minutes. Now I'll say, okay, I'm done embroidering, return. So now we're gonna go back over here. And I'm gonna go back to here. I don't need that anymore. IQ Designer. I'm going to scan this again, image scan, scan. Mm -hmm. Frame will move, just the warning. It does the scan. As you can see, it's tacked down more secure than it was because I just had the 505 glue in, in the back. I should have had my manual out, but I just wanted to, I just felt like winging it tonight. Sorry about yesterday's video. I started off looking at this screen that we're looking at right now when I had my phone in the vertical position. And then when I went over to the uh, the hoop, I switched the angle so that it was horizontal and I, I might have made you guys seasick. So sorry about that. All right, so here we are again. I'm gonna brighten this up. I want to see the outline. I want to do the shapes. I want to enlarge the size. I'm going to use the same button. I might see if darkening it will help. I mean, yeah, I still can't see it very good. So... I'll try and center it, but I think that just means go back to center after you move things around. Okay, I'm going to make this a little bit larger. I'm checking the sides. And I'm going to go up. Let's see here. If I say okay, then I'll get the rotate.
You know, I think that will catch the sides better. Mm hmm You probably can't see what I'm doing here, but I'm just trying to get it. I, I don't know if you care to see that close. But there's a pink line outline, and I'm just trying to get it so, just right so that it will catch all the edges. And I think it might be just a tad big. So I think I'm going to shrink it this way which means that I think I need to press this one. And then go in inside a little bit more. I need to shrink it down a little more, I think. Let's see. I think that will do it. So I say, okay. Now here it's doing a zigzag. I want it to be a zigzag, so that's good. If I want to see what it looks like, there's the line I just created. And so I can kind of check when it's lighter and then make it darker so I can see the actual satin stitch that was there. And there's something else. I think you're supposed to really put things into memory. I think I can do see blue what that might just be for the fills so I think I go next and then I go here and let's see green hmm I see the green yeah there's the green it's a zigzag this is how high do I want it and I want this to be because I think it went at I've never let's see I'm going to the biggest so I guess that's I guess I'm going to try that what the heck what have I got to lose okay so that's the zigzag width and this is the density so I think I want to go up more and then I'm going to put this into memory on the machine and set. It's going to convert it to an embroidery patterning pattern and then it won't be an IQ designer, but it's actually memory. So I say, okay, to continue. So there's the green that it's going to um, stitch out. Now let's, it's not green. I've got black thread in there. I could change the thread, but it's already black and I'm not going to mess it up. Now I want to do that check again. So I'm going to do this little scan to see. And it's pretty wide. It's pretty far outside of what I have already, what the design stitched as the um, satin. So, I'm going to say OK, and then I'm going to use this button is uh, the projector. And you can see on the screen it's thinking and it's got this little box for me to move around. Uh, there's you probably it's very good, but see that little light in the middle? That's the projector. And if there was more of a design, you would see it, but I have to move it up to the top uh-huh and I'm looking down oh, whoops 
you can't see or maybe you can see it do you see that green hmm I think I'm gonna move it over you see the green on the left it's gonna stitch out black that part looks good that part looks good it looks like it's gonna go over the black same there same there hmm I can't tell. I think it is going to be a very wide stitch. Yeah, I think it's going to be okay. This might be more than what you want to see, but I really want to try this, and I can always stop it if I don't like what I'm seeing. Okay, I've got my thread threaded. Everything is okay. It's black thread. I can actually go to black and you can actually see it a little more. You can see that green at the top. I'm just going to say okay and give it a go and see what happens. It says it's 14 minutes. So I'll just stitch this out a little bit. You can't really see that good. I think that's as big as my, yeah, that's as big as my camera. See, it's cutting. I like the way it's just big enough to catch most of the satin stitch and eliminate that white that was showing to the right of the satin stitch. So I'll see what happens when you try. Sometimes I fail. Many times I fail, but I really think it with my brain, you know, it really is important that I try, try, try again. And I'll get it. So now I think rather than have you watch this whole thing stitch out, this was my goal tonight. I did it in two steps instead of three. I probably could have done it in one, but next time I'll figure that out. That out. Um, I'm going to let it get to the bottom of this side, and then I'll stop it so that you can see what it did. And since I know what it's doing now, I think I'm going to stop it. And I'm going to, uh, let's see here, increase it to 600 stitches per minute. I guess it's just going to go this slow because it's such a wide satin stitch. Uh, so that's, this is the first time that I did this type of um, feature on my work, on my project. And uh, I'm thinking that next time when I tell it to show a color... So, in the projector, that color was green. I picked green. And if I would have picked something brighter, like yellow, it would have been easier to see when it projected down onto my fabric with the black. Because the green, in some parts, kind of blended in with the black, and I couldn't really tell where it was going to hit. So, I really lucked out. We're almost to the end, so I'll stop it, like I said. 
And then I'll, I'll, I'll work on putting this together. It's like bunching a little bit there. There we go. I don't know why it would do that, but it is. We'll get to the end. Well, I'll get to close to the end and then stop. I don't want to stop it at the end. Sometimes it'll be a problem. So here we go. I'll cut it. So that's that was my goal. So this is the after. There's the before. See the before? This is the right there. This is the after. It's much wider and the white is not showing. So we accomplished something tonight. Thanks for listening. I hope you have a great weekend.